G'day guys, make sure you read and understand the following disclaimer before watching the video. This is a quick video on how to resolve issues with temperature controls not working for stovetop elements. As you can see, no matter what setting the knob is on, the element is always heating to maximum. If the element is able to heat up, then we know the element is operating fine and the simostat will be the issue. This one was hot, see the smoke coming off it. Before you pull the oven out, throw on some gloves, it gets pretty greasy. Flick the isolator off first. Now that the oven's out, it can be safely unplugged. Carefully remove the upper metal cover from the back of the oven. Inside the back here, you can clearly see the four blue simostats. The problem one is this one on the far left of the video. I'll remove the two red cables from the back of the switch to provide adequate space to remove the simostat. Keep note of where connections are supposed to be if you do unplug any. Now remove the knob. It should slide off without needing too much force. Behind the knob you'll see a steel hexagonal nut. Grab some long nose pliers and loosen it off a bit, turning anti-clockwise. Once the nut is loose enough, you should be able to slide the simostat upwards into the large hole where it can be removed from the back of the oven. Pull it out of the way, but do not disconnect any of the wires yet. Ensure you have purchased the correct simostat for the oven model. This one's a Smith SM215K. Being universal, I find it is the most commonly used simostat for freestanding ovens. Open it up and slightly twist the nut onto the new simostat. It should look like this. Check that the orientation matches the other simostats and slide it back in through the hole. Now, while holding the back of the simostat in position, tighten up the nut. Now transfer the cables, one at a time, from the old simostat to the new one. Ensure each cable clips into the same position on the new simostat. It is good practice to take some photos before disconnecting any of the cables in case you fail to remember which terminal the cable was originally connected to. As you plug each cable in, make sure the connection is completely secure and is not loose. Once finished, go around a second time to ensure all connections are secure. Here I plug the switch cables back in the same positions and ensure the connections are secure. Clean up any grease from behind the knob and clip it back on. Turn it around to check for the full range of movement. Now to test and verify the new simostat is functioning correctly. Take precautions here because the oven will be live for testing and the element tester will get very hot. Make sure the oven is clear of tools and rubbish. Locate the cable supply in the simostat and clip your clamp meter around it. Make sure it is set to amps AC to measure current. Turn the simostat on low. Here the element is drawing approximately 5 amps. The meter will show 0 amps when the simostat turns the element off, indicating the element has reached temperature. Here I incrementally increase the temperature to ensure the element engages when it is required to heat the element to a higher temperature. I never turn the element to max, halfway is generally sufficient to verify the simostat. Also checking to ensure that when the temperature is turned back down, the element is not re-engaged, so no current has been drawn. Once complete, isolate and unplug the oven to reinstall the back cover. Cheers for watching.